when you are still employed, there is a basic psychological mindset shift or lifting of the eyes above your cubicle wall and looking out into the world that is an important exercise to start doing because it is the most foundational exercise of reacquainting yourself with the working world outside of a corporate structure because it's it's very very different and if you haven't looked out there recently you will be amazed at how things are working you know things don't work the way they did 10 years ago right And to have that sort of, as you said, agency around your future or your destiny, being more aware of what is possible and happening is, you know, advantageous to you if you're still inside, if you still have the business card in your pocket. Yeah. And just to build on that, I think that what's important about starting to build your personal brand in this way. And as you start to look up, is it you start to build up, you know, create your own optionality, right? If you start to be known for something, you start to be known for your expertise. I mean, you can start to create pull from within your company, from other companies, um, or again, if you're ready to go out on your own. So there's a lot of power in starting to craft that before oneself. And I did want to just get this point in too, that, you know, there was, I interviewed Tim Galpin on my podcast in episode three. And one of the things he brings up is how there's this acronym PI, which is stands for performance, image, and exposure. And he shares how research shows that really performance is usually only about 10% of what drives work success. It's really your image And then how much exposure you get is a lot of what can drive that. So to succeed, you actually, even inside corporate, you really do need to Mm. think about what is the image that I'm projecting, right? And then make sure you're getting in front of the right people who can really champion you. But again, it's just one of these things that many people can tend to miss both internally. And then as you're saying, Philip, looking outside and pulling your head up right outside of the cubicle. I know cubicles don't exist anymore. So in these open environments, or none <laughs> of us have been at work back anyway. Up because everyone hates open environments. It's too loud. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You have to put headphones on. One of the things that you, you used two terms and that I think are really helpful to kind of aid this conversation. And one is that you said, you said working on your professional brand or your personal brand. And to a certain extent, the PI analogy or the acronym you just talked about is, you know, how do you operate or build a presence, a, you know, a brand, what you're known for, what people say when you walk into the conference room or when you leave the conference room, how do you build that in your place of employment, your professional brand as an employee? And then when we talk about personal brand, what of that is transportable? And that can come from your skill set. It can come from your network. It can come from your, you know, your credibility or your renown in your professional category. And that is what I think that as we talk about building your brand while still employed with the idea of that, you will at some point not be employed by, uh, by another entity. What of that that you're building on the inside, number one, concentrate on building it on the inside. And number two, simultaneously think about how that will transport or how you can start doing things that will make that adjustment or that transition easier. And I, I, we should probably talk about like what we felt like we did well and not so well in that context in terms of developing our own professional brand and then our, our personal brands. So you know, I'll go first. When if it comes to developing your professional brand, I was concentrated ninety percent on the P on performance. Right? I didn't really care that much about my image. I didn't care that much about my exposure. I'm a Virgo. I'm very task oriented. I like checking boxes. I like organizing projects. I like inspiring people. I like creativity. But when it came to like developing the persona or the, the, you know, the brand of Philip Van Dusen while I was a, you know, senior executive in, of creative in a big company, I didn't put a lot of effort into that. And maybe I should have, because it might've made that transition a lot easier. And I know, you know, and there are senior creative people in agencies and companies who do put a lot of effort into that. And they are known for, you know, being showboats, 
Um, that wasn't my MO. And so I think that one of those things that, I mean, I probably have a lot of old designers who work for me out there who would probably disagree with me, <laughs> but this is my show. So no, or <laughs> Kathy's show. So, I mean, I think that that's, that's also one of those things that in making that transition from professional brand to personal brand was also a big leap. 